I call the hearing of the U.S. Senate Subcommittee on Rural Development and Energy to order. Today, uh, we are holding our subcommittee's first hearing, and it's a topic of rural broadband that uh, Senator Tuberville and I thought was of vital importance. Uh, I'd like to thank Chair Stabenow and Ranking Member Boozman, uh, the sub subcommittee ranking member, uh, Senator Tuberville, uh, for their support in convening this hearing. And I really want to thank all our witnesses for making the trip here and sharing your experience and knowledge. And you're on the forefront of getting broadband deployed. You know, our overall job is to revitalize rural America. And the health of rural America, we believe, is vital to the health of the nation. Our rural communities embrace strong values. They care about the, where they live. They care about the people they live with. They're the highest rate of enrollment in our military. Uh, we're proud of the values of rural America. It's under stress. It's under stress on its agricultural economy, and it's lost a lot of its manufacturing base. And our goal is to do all we can to help revive that. One of the big challenges in rural America is access to high quality, high speed internet broadband. It's absolutely essential. In pre-COVID, a lot of us had a debate with our urban colleagues. Post-COVID, it's obvious that you can't be in the 21st century without a, a high-speed internet any more than you can be in rural America without electricity. And one-third of rural Americans are unable to access broadband of 100 megabits per second, and you've got to have speed. That's just above average speed for most internet users. And when our communities lack access to quality internet, they're locked out of the global economy and cut off from critical services, and we want to change that. Workers have fewer opportunities. Farmers and small businesses are isolated from new markets, and our kids are really limited in their educational opportunities. So we need a rural broadband that will do three things. One, it will have the high speeds, 100, 100. It has to be future-proofed in the build-out so that five or 10 years from now, one or two farm bills later, we're not in the same position lagging behind urban America. Anything short of that, we'll be back here doing this all over again. Second, we've got to make federal broadband efforts more effective and efficient. It's one thing to get the money. It's another thing to spend it wisely and make it effective and get that broadband service to the last farm on the dirt road in your small town. Finally, USDA needs the tools and flexibilities to address the long-term scalable broadband needs of underserved rural communities. And all of our communities are somewhat different. That's what makes the challenge so great, even in Vermont, which we'll hear about. We've got places where there's lots of mountains. We've got places where it's kind of flat. And today, I introduced the, re, uh, along with Senator Marshall, I introduced the Reconnecting Rural America uh, Act. That bill, number one, would establish 100, 100 symmetrical build-out speeds. Number two, set unserved definitions to ensure the program is reaching those who need broadband the most and not building where it's not needed. Next, expand USDA's authority to coordinate with other federal agencies. And finally, provide sufficient authorization levels to address the overwhelming demand that the program currently experiences. Now, the Northeast Kingdom, and this is on the topic of effective implementation, is a small section, beautiful section, proud section of Vermont, and it serves many underserved homes. In North today, North, the Northeast Kingdom broadband, represented by one of our witnesses, I'm happy to announce, received an award of $17.5 million from USDA's ReConnect program to address the, broad need, or the broadband needs of the, this region in Vermont. The money's gonna go a long way uh, to helping us in the kingdom. We have confidence that the NEK, Northeast Kingdom Broadband, will get it done right. That's because they are based in their community. Vermont has established community union districts that are voluntary association of, town, of towns. It's not based in Wall Street where hedge funds smell the money and come in, walk away, and don't get the job done. So we've got a lot to do and a lot to hear from. We uh, can do this. You know, rural electrification, that was 100 years ago. It took about 15 years. 
And that was a social commitment, not a business decision. It was based on a recognition by Congress of the importance of rural America. We've got to do that again. I really want to thank all the witnesses who are here, and I'm now going to turn to my counterpart, uh, my colleague in this effort, uh, and I've really enjoyed working with you and your staff. You've been terrific, Senator Tuberville.